You probably know that DevOps is just the words dev and ops smashed together. But when we look into what those roles mean and then consider modern roles like platform engineers and SREs, things start to get interesting. But we'll come back to those later. Traditionally, dev or the developers were responsible for writing the code, designing the software architecture and refactoring. They build the thing. Ops or operations were responsible for deploying that code to production, monitoring it, responding to incidents, maintaining the servers that the code runs on. They run the thing. These teams worked in silos with very little collaboration. Devs would build the software and then throw it over the fence for the ops team to run it. And the two teams had very different goals. Devs want to build faster and release faster, but ops want to ensure everything is stable and reliable. Devs might have thought ops was slowing things down, whereas ops might have seen devs as being careless. The idea was to get rid of these silos and combine the teams. Teams were now responsible for both. If you build it, you run it too. Now they cared about moving fast without breaking things. They realized that manually testing, deploying, and monitoring every change was too slow and too error-prone, so they started automating everything. Instead of manual approvals, every change could be automatically deployed in a safe, repeatable way. Now when code is changed, it automatically goes through stages of automation. Building the code, running the automated tests, creating a package, deploying it, and then monitoring it in production. This is called a DevOps pipeline. Having all this automated means it's easy to release small changes regularly. The practice of merging and testing code regularly became known as continuous integration, and then actually releasing it was called continuous delivery. These are often grouped together and abbreviated to CICD, so the pipelines are also called CICD pipelines. Being able to deploy so frequently allow teams to be more agile. Agile development is about satisfying the customer through early and continuous delivery, which DevOps and CICD enable. Teams can make small incremental improvements, release them, gather feedback from users, and then iterate. Now, organizations can have many teams. Let's say they're all practicing DevOps, building and running their own products. They're all agile, each with their own set of users. They release frequently, build their own CI-CD pipelines and host their own infrastructure? Or do they share any of their pipelines? Do they share any infrastructure? Who actually builds and maintains the pipelines and infrastructure? Well, this is where platform teams come in. Or you might hear this is called a DevOps team, which is confusing because all the teams here are doing DevOps, as in running their own code. But this team maintains the shared DevOps pipelines and infrastructure. But you might think that because they maintain the infrastructure that they're basically an ops team, right? Well, no. That's a common mistake. Platform teams shouldn't deploy or run the other team's software. They build the pipelines and tools that enable the other teams to deploy and run the software themselves. Their job is to make DevOps easy for the other teams by simplifying the tools, infrastructure, and setup, often phrased as reducing the cognitive load on those teams. So the term platform team can more generally mean any team that works to simplify the lives of other teams, such as those creating shared frameworks or internal tools. Maybe there's a distinction here between the terms platform engineers and DevOps engineers, but the lines are blurry and the terms are sometimes used interchangeably. You might also throw site reliability engineers or SREs in here too. They build things that ensure services are scalable and resilient really focusing on the run it side of things. It's been described as an implementation of DevOps and as what happens when developers are given operations tasks. And all these platform teams practice DevOps themselves too. They build and run the platform. Platform teams can also be agile. Their customers are the other teams and their product is the platform. They can release an early version of the platform and then iterate based on feedback from the other teams. Agile is often misunderstood. If you want to find out what it really means, you can watch my video on it here. Or if you're more interested in how the structure of your platform and product teams will shape the architectural boundaries of your platform, 
check out my video on Conway's Law here. And as always, thanks for watching.